Well, hello there folks, Procoat here again, playing some more Minecraft Bedrock on our survival realm. And as you can see, I'm somewhere a bit different to this week. Um, yep, going to take a break from building in the dome and over in the other in bases. And work on a new farm that I've been wanting to do for a while. Which, if we take a look down there, you might have an idea of what it is. So what we'll do, we'll take the punch. And yep, there we go, now the conduit's taking effect, you can get a better view, that's right, we are in the Guardian Temple that I cleared out way back ages ago and put the conduit into. So, there's a few Guardians, but there's no Elder Guardians anymore. Let's just get rid of him, there we go. That's one less to worry about. So yeah, what we're going to do is we are going to try and get out of here. Where's the hole? There it's there. So what we're going to do is basically turn this into a nice big XP farm. And I'm getting trapped in all that stuff. That's going to disappear pretty soon. Um, yep, turn this into a very fast and efficient XP farm. Um, so I do also need the sea lanterns and the prismarine and all that kind of stuff is going to be very handy but yep i need to go and do some laying out of things Um, i need to work out what direction things i think that's north behind me that direction Um, but yeah it's quite a simple build actually to build a very powerful farm so I'm going to throw a graphic up on the screen right now that basically shows you the layout. So I'm following a tutorial I found on, from Silent Whisper, who's built this farm. I am going to modify his design slightly for the killing side, but that's just to suit our needs because there's not as many of us here. Um, but if you look at that graph, basically we are... The dirt platform I was standing on is, is that red stone block right in the middle beside all the 15s. So then radiating out from there you have each red stone block is going to be a collection chamber that we're going to build. And that's where all of the guardians are going to spawn. We're going to shoot them up and we're actually going to fire them through nether portals into the nether and kill them on that side because that's the most efficient way to do this which allows us then to basically have insanely fast rates because the minute they spawn they're unloaded again and that just lets us put in lots and lots of guardians into the nether that we can then kill straight off which is excellent because it means we don't have to spend a lot of time afk at these things so if you give me a minute, I am going to go and lay this grid out and then we'll get started looking at the design for the actual collection boxes. So give me two seconds and I will be back. Okay guys, welcome back. So I have actually laid out the grid. It doesn't, it's not actually that big an area. It does look it in the graphic I just showed you. But yeah, if we look, there's the center point there. And then instead of redstone block, I've just used stone bricks just to mark out the points because it doesn't really matter. So if we come along here, I've actually built one of the chambers already. And did I bring a bucket with me? No, I didn't. Right, need a bucket just so I can show you this. But what we're going to do is got to be one here somewhere. There's usually, I usually keep one in the, the backpack here. Hmm. Then ah, be fine. I put them both back, don't I? There, there we go. And yep, there we go. Get a bucket of water on the way past. There we go. Right, let's get back over here. And my game is a wee bit stuttery today. My laptop is really struggling right now, unfortunately. But never mind. So this is a basic killing chamber, well not the killing chamber, the collection chamber. So that stone brick there actually would have been this one here. Um, so each one of these, you're going to go back one and then down 
three for where your floor is going to be. I have knocked out an extra bit here just so I can get in and out of them. And then if we jump on the outside, you can get a better look. Don't need that, but it makes it look neater. Putting the portal around the outside of it and blocking up the back to stop the water coming back in. So basically, when we light this portal, I'm going to chuck these in because I don't want to light it right now. Um, when we light this portal, all we need to do is place a block of water there and it will go off to that corner. Now hopefully if I run away, we might get a spawn in there. Probably won't because I haven't been through this and emptied out all the guardians that are probably floating about inside and all that kind of stuff. So, yep, uh, probably I won't have got much out of it yet, but we'll have a look. We'll know straight away if we get shot at or not. No. But that's the basic idea. So what you, what you have is a 3x3 three three, um, area that is what, two below two below the level of the waterline. And then put the portal on the back like that. Now I have dropped the portal down one. It seems to work better like that. Um, rather than having the portal sticking up an extra one at the bottom. Plus I don't want it up higher than it needs to be. Um, you also don't necessarily need to have it full width like that. You could have a 2x3 there. Or there, depending on what side you put the water. But I think it just looks neater and it does catch them all as quick as possible when they're spawning in. Which is perfect, which is exactly what we want. So what I am now going to go and do is build the rest of these because I need to go and get more obsidian because it does use quite a lot because I think you're building about 24-25 portals here and I will put the rest of these in and then I will jump back on and let you see where we're at with it. So bear with me, I will be back in a minute once I have done this bit. Okay, so welcome back guys. Um, as you can see, I have now got all the portals in and lit, and I have the water sources in all of them. I've also been down and round the whole area and through the temple, just clearing and killing all the guardians out, so that we don't have any blocking up the mob cap down there, which is look pretty good. Um, got some junk lying about. I have also put this platform in, which is the AFK point. So I think it's about 24, 25 blocks up in the air. You can work it out from the coordinates that are up in that top left that I can't get to. Um, but if we stand here, we should be able to see stuff spawning. Yep, there was one. There's more over there. There's some right below us. That one's fighting it, but it will go through in a minute. And some over there and there. That one's fighting hard. Let me see any over on that side. So, yep, it seems to be working really well. There's another one going through. You do get the odd one like that, but they do usually end up going through eventually, and it doesn't block the rates if you get one that's stuck, and you can quite easily knock it through. Um, now, I have to say, do not go AFK on this side with a farm like this. You'll just, you'll kill your game. Trust me, you will kill your game. I mean, I've been here, what, however long, maybe a minute and a half, maybe. Um, and let's take off. I need to move my portal a bit closer, but we'll just fly over to the other one, because this one's quite handy, because my um, stronghold's down there for going into the end as well. So hence why I was originally out this way. But if we go floating up here. Maybe eat something on the way up just to do something with it. So I have actually been busy. I have actually built a killing chamber on the other side. Um, we'll be able to judge how bad it is by how long this takes to load as well. But I've built up a sort of basic killing chamber for now. I do plan on having it a dual purpose one. So if we head through here, 
you'll be able to see that there's another portal on this side. All of the ones on the farm all link up into that portal there, which I've cased in here. I have also built a beacon. Um, oh no, maybe not good looking out there. Well, they're all there, but I have built a beacon, so I've got resistance and um, regen because these things hit hard. So yeah, there we go. That was what a minute and a bit, maybe two minutes at the most, and that's how many guardians we've got. So let's check. I have one fish in the box right now, so let's go. A wee bit spammy. Now this is a looting three, uh, sharpness four, one. As you can see, I've been doing this quite a bit with the amount of levels that I've already got, but you can see how quick it's all going up. Now, I'm thinking I might put a Trident Killer in here, but I'm not 100% sure. Because what I also want to do is I have fully AFK dropship, so that I can, you know, have me here and the camera counter or someone else sitting at the other side, so they're just coming in, falling straight down. And we can get all the lovely loot for making the sea lanterns and all this Prismarine stuff. Let's have a wee swat at them and then we'll let the health regen a bit. What I've also done is I've stuck a couple of smokers in here because you get an absolute ton of fish. And seeing as how we've got the blaze farm just around up the back, might as well use it. And um, let's see what we're getting so far. Uh, it's taking a minute to come through, but we'll just keep chopping away at these guys. So yeah, this thing is insanely fast. You can see how quick my levels are going up considering I'm over 70. All my gear is basically repaired. You really want, if you're doing this, you want mending, obviously, because that's why you're needing XP, but you do want protection. I've only got protection 3. You probably want to try and get as high protection value as you can. Projectile protection's not doing me any good on that one, but anyway. Um, and pretty much, you are good to go here. Let's eat again, just so sort of full regen. Um, now, these have been dropped from the portal, I think about uh, 20 something, maybe 30 blocks, so there's one hit kills with the sword. Uh, I don't think they're quite, oh yeah, they're one punch kills, so, but obviously here if you're doing it for the loot, I mean look at that so far, it's coming in nice and fast, you do want the loot in 3 if you're doing it like this. Um, what I do need to do is, well, design this room, obviously, because it's a mess. Um, let's just quickly try and chop all these out. Now, potions of harming would work as well if you're wanting just a quick kill. I am also going to install a lava bucket and a dispenser there for the emergency button, just in case something goes wrong. Because if you are outside for too long, this will completely knacker your game. It'll lag out the server or your computer or your Xbox or whatever you're playing on. So I would recommend that you do not leave it like this. As you can see I've got another area down here with a much longer drop on it so it's instant kills. So at worst your game lags for maybe a minute or two when you load the nether but it doesn't stay permanently. Um, so what I want to do is I've got hoppers under there which if I can get rid of these things, I'll be able to show you all. I have to say, it does work very efficiently. And you do get a lot of loot out of it. Let's just keep going with the bow while we regen. I'm too far away. As you can see, you can see from the little time that we're there how efficient this farm actually is. And how many of these things that we got through here. And it, it's awesome. And I've actually got very lucky, this one is only about 50-60 blocks I think in the nether from the witch hut that I'm planning to make my base. So it means I have got some lovely experience right on my doorstep. Let's just see, we'll give that a minute to chomp through. But yeah, very, very basic system in here. 
portal is up at the top there where you can see the stone bricks and it's just a straight fall onto the hoppers. Best way I've found for doing it is keeping them in so you can get to it. You put you want one block high or a slab on the top, that gives you a nice window but they can't get out. And then if you want to do this, you're going down again. And it's the same design here but I've put the slab on the top just so I can see if there's any loot sitting there. Um, you obviously don't get experience when they're falling straight through. But after I'd say maybe 15 minutes at most, that's what we've got. And that was from fully AFK just letting them fall to their death. Obviously if you're doing it manually, come on, off the ladder please. If you're doing it manually, you get a fair bundle as well. Is that hopper just backed up and that's what's wrong? Yeah, I think so. We have actually got a fair amount sitting in our inventory as well. Let's just see what's in the actual hoppers. Yeah, I mean these are... That one's not too bad, so there's one hopper still to come through. But yeah, it's perfect. And you've got a source of food as well if you want it. You could even be getting XP out of these if you're wanting to, because you can see the amount of fish and stuff that's come through them. And yeah, all I've got is a beacon out the, right out the back here. So to get the beacon to work, all you need to do is dig right the way up to bedrock, and then the beacon will activate. If it's not activating, what you will need to check is that you've not got more than one layer. Um, so I found when I dug it up, there was a layer of bedrock, and there was about an hour out, and then there was another one. Then there was the rest of the bedrock was there, so I had something like that with bedrock all around my one bit of netherrack. All I went and did was dug around it and knocked that out, and then the beacon activated perfectly. So that's one little tip for getting you making sure your beacon works in the nether. But apart from that, guys, it works brilliantly, as you can see fully repaired gear and I am now at 75 levels which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. Probably be making backup sets of armour because uh, these are pretty decent but they're not the best and it's the only set I've got right now because I died into a pool of lava flying building tunnels the other day so I will do that but I mean it's such a simple build the only grind you've got really is the obsidian and if you have killed the ender dragon then you have what six eight towers of the stuff sitting in the end ready for you to go all i did was take a beacon through plonked it down side one haste two on it and just listen to some music and dug away basically so there you have it and there as you're insanely fast Super awesome, amazingly overpowered XP Guardian farm. We'll just fly back over it again. Quickly fly over it, because it looks amazing at night. And there we have it. So what I want to do next with this one is obviously some way of turning these off. What I'm going to experiment with is dispensers to take the water out because if there's no water in these nothing spawns so what I'm thinking is be some kind of redstone line goes down that we can trigger it here maybe have a timer so that it's like two minutes it's on for or something um, and maybe have a manual on and off as well depending on what setting we've got in the nether and on the nether side what I need to do is have the hoppers at the XP level being able to be retracted so that it's a full drop shoot rather than having the punching area um, but apart from that it is fully working and it's good to go now so I think that is going to do me today and I am going to leave you there and get out of here before I go and spawn too many things 
as always if you like the video drop a like down below any comments or suggestions let me know and if you're enjoying what we're doing here do subscribe to the channel it's much appreciated and i will see you next time goodbye